Hey, soccer world. Let me introduce you to the latest young star you need to know, Jordan Allen. Welcome to another edition of On the Field presented by Windows. This week, 19-year-old Jordan Allen burst into our consciousness with a dramatic late match winner for Real Salt Lake in a 2-1 victory against Toronto FC. Let's dig into the anatomy of his goal. The game state is important to recognize. We're in the dying minutes of the match and Toronto have just scored an equalizer. So things are a little frantic at this point. But Allen is calm on the ball. In fact, he starts this entire play by picking up the ball, ducking two Toronto defenders, one, two right there, and finding space in which he can then play a ball through the channel to his teammate, the target man for Real Salt Lake, Devin Sandoval. Now why is it such a good ball? Well, a couple reasons. First, it's going to skip a bunch of Toronto defenders and get them out of the play. It also throws the Toronto defense into a little bit of disarray and it will allow all of these Salt Lake players to get into the attack. More and more Real Salt Lake players moving into the attack. Next we'll look at Sandoval. He has a lot of work to do to control the ball and hold off his defender, Nick Haglund. Once he gets the ball though, this is what it does. It draws the attention of four different Toronto FC players. There's actually a fifth one out here that's interested in him as well. What that does, it opens up space for his teammate, Javier Morales. Now, Morales is one of the most dangerous players in MLS. And if he can find space out wide, it's gonna cause problems for the other team. Now, one thing to notice, when Morales is making his run forward, he is going to adjust his run and swerve outside a little bit to create a little more space for himself. When Morales gets the ball, the Toronto defense has actually done well to regain its shape. Five players lined up across the back in order to cover the three RSL forwards making runs into the box. All they have to do is mark well. You know what else they need to do? They need to apply more pressure to Javier Morales. I imagine the TFC coach Greg Vanny, a great outside back in his own day, was not happy with the space afforded to Morales by Lovix. Now it might not look like a lot, but that's plenty for Javier Morales to cause some real damage. And that's what he does. He easily cuts to his left foot and delivers an in-swinging cross into the middle. Now let's get back to Jordan Allen. Remember, he played the initial ball forward. Watch his path after he plays that ball. He's this guy right here. He's just gonna float forward, waiting for the play to develop and then pouncing when the time is right. Now why is he so open once it all happens? Well, I would say it's ultimately a lack of communication in the back line for Toronto. Before the cross comes in, TFC are in actually pretty decent shape. They have men back to do the coverage. But some movement by the RSL players, namely John Sturzer out here running right past Jonathan Osorio will wreak havoc in the TFC defense. The back line is suddenly outnumbered and I would suspect that there's probably not enough communication because Simonen moves up to Sturzer, leaving Haglund to make a decision between picking up Sandoval or dropping further back to pick up Jordan Allen. And there is nothing like a center back in no man's land to allow a forward or a young attacker to take advantage of. And that's what Allen does. Well done, kid. That's it for this week's On the Field presented by Windows. Don't forget, you can leave nominations in the comments below or hit me up on Twitter at Gagents and use the hashtag Anatomy of a Goal. Join us again next week. We'll talk to you later on.